Well, I'm happy I to. I love this show. You do? Well, thank yeah, you very and so much. Yeah, all my friends, too. They're oh. all very excited. I'm on the show, too. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. holla! <laughs> shout out, Molly. shout out to your friends. Yeah. What are their names? Molly. Molly. Liat. Liat? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Cindy's probably out there watching. Yeah. What's up? All right. It's like TRL all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, but we'd be yelling and at the, the end of it. Yeah! Yeah! Just, you never know if you're actually getting across. I've been on TRL and you're, you're screaming into your microphone, but they can hear you if you talk softly, but you think you have to scream into right. the microphone. I'm just learning that too. I always feel like people at home can't hear, but they can, and I right. end up screaming, <laughs> but I'm just learning. Um, hey, but anyway, I'm glad to have you on the show, nice and it's you. good to see you again. Yeah. yeah, so you don't go out much either, usually? No, I don't know. It's kind of, it's a lot to handle those L.A. clubs. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really like them, no. Yeah. Well, those things are such a scene anyway. They're all kind of, you know... Everybody takes himself really seriously. All the girls get dressed up like ridiculously, like high heels, shorts. My girlfriends and I always go like the complete antithesis, like sneakers, you know, mm -hmm. our crappiest clothes. And most covered up, too. I always wear like really covered up things just so. Right. And dorky dance moves. Right. That, that's what I, I look like, and I'm not trying to do anything. I'm, that's just how I dress. <laughs> Today. Yeah. No, I like the way you dress. I'm in shorts yeah. today. I know, and you look like you have a little halter top on, like it's all in one little piece under there. Oh, um, no, it's not. No? No, uh-uh. But it is. I just cut all my bras off and make them into halter. I don't know why. I just like halter neck things. I don't know you why. cut your bras and make them yeah, into a halter? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It gives it a little flavor, you know, like sticking out. I like it. It's cute. Look at that. You're gonna, now people are going to start doing yeah, that. Cut because up you, all your tank tops and turn them into halters. That's no, nice. you know what's good tank about that is you don't have to worry about pulling your bra strap no. off because it's all tied around the back. And, and if you wear a halter neck, you just cut your bra to the shape of the halter. You're all good. Look at the tips we tell you here. <laughs> You're not going to learn that anywhere else. No. I like that. <laughs> Yeah. And you do that with every single bra? No, not every bra. No. You know, you can't really, some are, you know, harder to do it with than others. Yeah. Well, I, I like it. Thanks. It's a, it's a good fashion tip. Thank you. Um, I was going to say something I edited myself just now. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> it's an easy... Yeah, yeah. No, no, uh, I was actually... <laughs> Self I'm fanning with yourself with uh, my you, BF. You and your uh, your your what? BF. Your, your BF. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend. And it's Jake Jake Gyllenhaal. Is yeah, that his name? Gyllenhaal. That's how you say his name. And that's that's her... a complicated name. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, ah. Oh. Oh. And that's from when, what night? Where where was we that? We're at the Vanity Fair party, and both of us didn't even want to go out. But I just loved my dress so much that I had to show it off. But I didn't even want to be there. But I just liked my dress, so we went. <laughs> now that doesn't look like the outfit you were just describing that you usually go out in. <laughs> well, we're at the Vanity Fair party. I gotta look hot. Yeah. Even though that is a scene, you're right. Yeah, that but is. I, but I am. But it's a beautiful, uh, yeah, it's thanks. a beautiful dress. Thank All right, so, and you, you, I understand uh, both of you just adopted a dog. Yeah, yeah. What did you get? We got a German Shepherd, and um, he's so cute. His name was Lovey, but then we changed it to Atticus, and he's got one ear that's up and one ear that flaps down. So sweet. And um, there's this uh, place called A New Leash on Life. Uh-huh, I've heard of that. And it's an adoption center, and they treat their animals really well, and we, we learned from Samantha Mathis uh, she got her dog from, from these people, and so we went and saw the dog. And they have a, uh, we went to an event, actually. It was called Nuts for Mutts. That's the, that? that's the dog. It's in, oh, yeah. uh, in... That's us at Nuts for Mutts. It's like, um, <laughs> they have a competition of, like, best kisser and best, you know, tail wag or whatever. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, the, the normal people dog show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think so. they were having that contest at that club that night, weren't they? <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, I want to ask you... Did you, you see Paris Hilton there, too? She's like, what? I think just, like, bouncing around. <laughs> she, like, sprints all the people. It's so funny. Uh, we have to take a commercial. We'll be right back right after this. That's a clip from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which was such a hard title for me to remember at first. I know, now it makes sense. One. Now that I've seen the film, yeah. I, I get it. But, and it's, it's so... And you're so good in this. Thank you. You're hilarious. There was a scene that, um... Uh, we showed the other day when, um, oh, God. What, just, Mark Ruffalo? Mar Mark or, was on. Oh, yeah. We were just showing that the scene when 
when you both are uh, jumping on the bed. Or yeah, it's yeah, hilarious. stoned out of her. So, so what, your character, you, you you tell it. You're better. I than well, I <laughs> I work at this um, doctor's office, Lacuna, who erases, um, does this procedure of a memory erasure, and uh, very normal thing. And <laughs> and Jim Carrey, you know, basically all my scenes are. I work at the office. I'm obsessed with the doctor who works there, and. All my scenes are kind of like screwing around with Mark Ruffalo and Elijah Wood a little bit, but we're like dancing on the bed and we're getting totally, you know, wasted and out of it. And then you realize, you know, why I'm kind of lost and there's like a big twist in my character that I can't give away. But Yeah. No, it's a great think, twist. Yeah, it is a good twist. Totally surprised me at the yeah. end of the movie. It all of a sudden was going in one direction and then when you reveal your thing. My it, thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think the bra thing may catch on and the, the dance may dance not. The may not. <laughs> but it's dorky and We also do the robot and then, you know, the yeah. limp arm and then hit yourself in the head. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry we didn't dance that night. Um, <laughs> the next time, I'm though. I'm cool. No, I know you're I'm cool because I don't dance like the other people. I know you're cool. Okay. And the next time I see you, I will know you. <laughs> I'll be doing the thumb dance in the corner. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be passing you by going. <laughs> the Channel Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is in theaters now. Live featuring Shelby Lynn will perform right after this. Don't go away.